let us now look at our third question a question states that on 60 km track a train travels the first 30 km with a uniform speed of 30 km per hour how fast must the train travel the next 30 km to average 40 km per hour for the entire trip let us now look at our solution now let us now begin with the uh, writing down the information given in the question now it is given in the question that train travels 30 km in first interval with a uniform speed of 30 km per hour and in the next interval it again travels 30 km so we have distance traveled s1 is equals to s2 is equals to 30 km now for first half of the journey the velocity is given as v1 is equals to 30 km per hour now we are also given that average velocity of the train should be v average is equals to 40 km per hour and uh, we have to find the velocity of train during second half of the trip so we have to find velocity v2 of the train so we also know that will average velocity is given as total distance traveled by the train divided by total time taken to travel that distance so uh, average velocity is equals to s1 plus s2 upon t1 plus t2 now we know that uh, since s1 is equals to s2 is equals to 30 km let us denote this distance by simply s so we have average velocity is equals to s plus s divided by s upon v1 plus s upon v2 now this comes from the relation speed is equals to distance upon time taken so now we have average velocity is equals to 2s upon s 1 upon v1 plus 1 upon v2 on uh, solving and rearranging we get average velocity is equals to 2 v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2 now putting in the values we get v average uh, we know that is uh, 40 km per hour so Forty is equals to two times thirty times v two upon thirty plus v two or thirty plus v two is equals to three by two v two. So on solving this relation we get V2 is equals to 60 km per hour. 